There's just something about sliders that seem to taste a little better. Maybe it's just because they're so cute. Tell me you don't want to sink your teeth into these. We do. You want to see our take on these breakfast sliders? Then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the wall twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the cooks that we do here on our Blackstone Griddle. And Brett, I gotta say, when we thought about doing these breakfast sliders, a whole new world opened oh, up in it my was, mind. It was an instant yes. We didn't need it. There was no further discussion of breakfast sliders. Done. Yeah. And how soon can we get to the Blackstone to get them done? And honestly, this one's so quick and easy with the thought of what groceries we're gonna be tossing down. In fact, let's get to said groceries. Yeah, basically we're making these sliders, sausage, bacon, egg, and cheese. And we're gonna be putting them on these King Hawaiian rolls. And that is the key right there, those King Hawaiian rolls. We absolutely love them. King's Hawaiian rolls, rather. Mm -hmm. And also not pictured, we do have a piece of mail. We Always. know it's coming to us from New York City. We are so excited for this. We'll get to a mail time segment after we take a bite. Sure, or after exactly. we eat. And we can't wait to get to that. So Brett, I don't have a whole lot to say. I wanna get to the cook. We got Let's the griddle on. Let's get the, Here you guys you guys know the drill, it's gonna be bacon, it's gonna be sausage, it's gonna be eggs, it's gonna be these delicious Hawaiian rolls with a little bit of cheese and a whole lot of yum. Let's I'm, call, get to I'm this. calling a banger right now. Let's see. <laughs> Let's do this. So uh, we have been requested a lot lately actually to show the temperatures. I will go ahead, we do have the Blackstone infrared and thermometer, which we absolutely love, or the probe rather. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is really good. So right here in the middle, and I always talk, I always talk about how hot my griddle gets. We're on low right now, it was on medium low. And even at medium low, we're like at 430 to 4, yeah, 435. So, and that's right there in the middle. So if I come out to the side, now we're down to 390. So there is a great area of, discre I wouldn't say discrepancy because as I get to the outside, Change. where it's not on, you're gonna get temperature changes. And that's why we say really learn to uh, know learn to know your zones yep. for cooking. But we'll be cooking here in the middle. So anyways, I just turned the side on. You're looking at 250, this will get brought up to temp. We're starting on low, we'll move it up to medium. Mid 400s, 430, 440, right in there in the middle of the griddle. And that's on down to low, but it is gonna be medium, medium low. And uh, like we say, that's, that's always worked for us. If you feel like you need to get an infrared temperature, really do it. I understand if you're in a stove, you need to know exactly the temperature. If you're smoking meat for 12 hours, you need to know the exact temperature. With griddle cooking, it really happens so quickly. And I think that's why we've never really worried about the Pretty, temperature. Yeah, it's very active. But we're gonna go ahead and get to it. So we gotta get into our bacon and then we will- uh, Toss on the sausage. Toss it on. So uh, Brett and I talked about it. You know we love the right thick cut bacon, the applewood. You almost can't beat it. We decided that since these were sliders and smaller, yep. we wanted a thin cut bacon, mm -hmm. which we think will just be a little bit easier to apply and really just delicious. So Correct. We're gonna go ahead and cook this up and we'll uh, get this going. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. And from what I have yeah. So Brett, this I just turned this side on. Brett can go ahead and get that. In fact, let's pull over some of the bacon and we're gonna get the sausage going to the right. That smells so good, guy. Some of a breakfast cook obviously reminds us of camping with dad. Absolutely. You know, waking up with we that little about that, Coleman, man. Coleman griddle, the little burner oh, man. that the neighbors would all have and we'd do with a big church camp out or whatever. Yep, so amazing. Father and sons. <laughs> Father and sons outings. If you know, you know. <laughs> You know, we get so many recommendations and we love them. And if this has been recommended and we didn't put your name down, we apologize. This is one that just, we try to get a breakfast cook once every month or every couple of months because we just love the breakfast cooks. And all of a sudden it just dawned on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, breakfast sliders. And, and I gotta say, as I was thinking of this, I came across Griddle Grub. Griddle oh, Grub, oh, I don't know oh, how oh. we didn't know about you before. Uh, recently when we did one of the collaborations during the summer, it was an open collaboration. We found Griddle Grub. He ended up doing one of the same cooks we did. Excellent channel. If you get a chance, go check out Griddle Grub, see the amazing cooks he's doing, including his breakfast slider that looks absolutely stellar. Yes. So totally good. Love the way he did it. And uh, we're just doing our own rendition of, of our these breakfast sliders. Yep, exactly right. So we love Those to give credit where credit is due. You know, people always wonder where we come up with the ideas. We just love to think of the ideas, yes. and then we go out and see who else has done it or what else is going on out yeah, there. Yeah, Adam and I, we live an hour and a half apart, but we talk several times a day, at least two <laughs> to three times a day. At least once we're talking about cooks, what we want to cook, have yep. we seen so-and-so do this video, and we'd love to try it because of them. And, right. and so, uh, yeah, we, we get inspired by a lot of the cooks, a lot of the requests here, and a lot of other channels. But, oh, uh, but yeah, we do talk about our cooks all the time. So it looks like these ones are just cooking halfway through, the ones closest to you. Look at that. 
nice those one. are cooking really quick. In fact, we didn't want to smash these, but we do want to flatten them a little bit. So yes, one thing that we did discuss before is we did want to smash the, the sausages Not just completely a like a smash yeah, all the way like we've burger, done before. Right. We've done smash patties before, but we know that these were going to <laughs> tighten up. <laughs> so so like we decided fish. we decided we want to just flatten these just a little bit so they're not super thickness Everdeen. Mm -hmm. Perks of the job, Adam's son just grabbed himself some snack and bacon. We got little Griffin out here helping me today. Griffin is my youngest son, and uh, normally we have Cannon or Kenzie out helping, and Parker helps with cleanup. Yep. Uh, but tonight, uh, Ken is out with a friend first week at school, and so Griffin said, Dad, I'll come help. He loves to help. It better than usual. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's made with love. <laughs> All right, so I am just whisking. We have six eggs uh, and we eyeballed it. It's about, I don't know, a quarter cup of milk, if that. Sure. And then some salt and pepper to taste. So we've got these. Now we've learned from the best, Blackstone Betty. We've turned these burners off. We wanna use just a little bit of that bacon grease for these. And then also we want to use a little butter for yep. the butteriness. So Brett Maestro, if you will, let's go ahead and butter that. And then we've learned the key is to lay these out and then don't really touch them. Let them cook through before we start to fold them and bring them in. Tell me why. All right, that's good. And let me go ahead and get this going here. So really want to make sure those are whisked up. And let me grab my spatch to make sure we're not going to lose this down. Don't want too much in the bacon grease here. There we go. Kind of bring it down. There we go. So we just need to control that. All right, and then all we're gonna do is just kind of fold this in. This is actually going to my griddle that's still on. Some of this is gonna be just a little brown because we do have some of the bacon grease and the bacon goods in there. I know some people worry about them. They, you get the grease or the, the dirt and they're like, oh, my eggs always turn out gray. That is gonna be the residual from what's on the griddle. So we're just gonna finish put, cooking these. We're gonna pull the eggs and then we're gonna build, toast. right? Well, we're gonna toast the bread first. We're, oh, we are gonna toast the bread. Let's get to that before. I was already jumping the gun and going to B-roll. Mr. Two Steps Ahead over here. Right. So these are just about done. And you see this griddle is off, so the cooking process has really slowed. That allows us to control the cook of the eggs. And exactly man, right. look at these sexy, fluffy eggs. Hopefully Blackstone Betty would be proud of these. <laughs> if not, uh, Betty, Adam did these, so. <laughs> and if, if she is proud, then I watched him do them. <laughs> I told right. him how, I showed him how. But you can see six eggs makes a lot of eggs. This, yes. is, gonna, this is gonna be plenty for our cook. All right, Brett, we can go ahead and get the roll down too. Let's go ahead and butter this side. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this down so we can actually flip. So we wanna get the top, the insides, mm -hmm. and then the outsides. Yep. And I ripped it a little bit when I was getting it prepped. The bread tastes the same. The bread tastes the same. <laughs> Now, one thing that Adam and I have really fallen in love with, and it really happened when we did the In-N-Out animal style uh, copycat, is to toast both the top and the bottom of the bun. We really like it, so. Absolutely. So that's what we're gonna do here, is what I was getting at. <laughs> <Wanna check? laughs> right, yep. And that is toasted, nice. Okay, do we wanna lay a little bit more butter down? Ooh, that was perfect timing. All right, so we're gonna lay these for a second. I'm gonna turn off the burner, go ahead. There we go, Brett. Not sure if you want to take a look at that. Oh nice my gosh. Nice and toasted. So if I were you, Adam, I'm gonna say turn this off. All right, there's our eggs ready for the build. Kenzie, Griffin, I think we're just about ready for some B-roll. Let's do this.
we got to laugh because our B-roll footage coverage is done by Kenzie. Yes. Who took the top one off. <laughs> Before we could even come and show you. She's like, oh my video. gosh, these are so good. So we already know where they are. But Brett, like we said, listen, these are probably still a little bit hot. Oh my. Uh, they turn exactly like we thought. You know, we used to worry so much about melting the cheese during the cook. And we thought, you know what? The stuff there is going to be hot enough. Let it melt over time. And when yep. we were peeling those apart, as you saw, oh. Oh, my mouth was watering. This is one Minus of the hardest. Two. This is one of the hardest B-roll footages I've had to sit through. Yes. Now this is a breakfast cook, but we're doing it for dinner. I spent all day at Magic Kingdom for my granddaughter's birthday, and I am starving. You work up an appetite when you do that, <laughs> right. and I have been ha I've been thinking about these all day. So if you want, do you want to keep talking about it? Then, I would love to keep ahead? talking about it. In yes, fact, so let me call Sienna and tell her about these. No, let's go ahead. But Brett, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks. This looks. Looks better than I even imagined it would look. Right. It can smell amazing. Better. Ditto. Ditto. Absolutely. But if this doesn't taste amazing. Oh, it will. Then this was <laughs> all for nothing. Oh, we both the same one. I you saw want that one? Buddy? No, I got it. Okay. I got it. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, my. Cheers. Hold on, yo. Cheers. Yeah. I'll eat to that. My, my brother. brother. <laughs> if ever there was a cook that just made it was exactly this exact satisfaction. The crunchiness wanted. of the bacon. The crunchiness of the bacon. Obviously get saltiness. The saltiness. From the bacon. From the bacon. And the sausage. And the sausage. The egg. The egg. So pillowy. So pillowy. <laughs> the King's Hawaiian. The King's Hawaiian. So sweet. <laughs> Want me to stop? And pillowy. Well deserved of a couple of Holy ginger cow. snaps. This is unbelievable. If I was having to, a big party, a big get together, like breakfast or whatever, you can come out and toss a ton of these on. Yep. In no time got these cooked and done. And this, this would feed the masses. Yep. And this is going to, we have a whole bunch here, half for me, half for Brett. Good luck, family. <laughs> well, and one for Kenzie. Right. Brett, let's get to the package. Oh yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to get to the package. I really am. <laughs> I just have to I'm savoring the flavor. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh this is awesome. Uh, no dude. way, this is awesome. All right, first of all, this is for Matt, and I hope I get your last name right, Arbyshevsky. T please tell us, Matt, if we're doing this wrong. By the way, if you want to check out what Matt does, he does actually cook on the Camp Chef Griddle. Yes, he does. He does amazing work at Two Wheels underscore New York City. We'll go ahead and link his channel as well because he's been such a great support and he gives us some excellent ideas for some of the cooks that we do. But man, he just wrote us this really, really great long letter, but just as important, man. EMS, City of New York. This means a lot to us, brother. We think, thank you so this much for this. This is absolutely awesome. First of all, um, Matt, totally touching, le yeah. uh, touching letter, Matt. Thank you so much. And this, Matt wore this badge for 20 years. And so on his we left will, arm, on, on his, his left, left shoulder, we will keep this close to us for sure. So we always know we've got some love and fam there in New York City. And, and for sure, Matt, anytime you're in Florida, holler at us. We would love to do a cook with you for sure. And what's so great about it is, you know, and, and we talk about this, we get hate sometimes. We understand we're not we're not everybody's brand and we get that, but when we get people who do stand behind us and stand with us, love it, love the positivity and love what we do. It just, it gives us that, it just keeps us going. So yep. thank you so much, Matt. You have no idea how much this means to it us. It means brother. more than you know. Right, absolutely. But thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. If you would like to send something to us as well for a mail time segment, our PO box is also posted below in the description box. That's right, exactly. And another way you can support us is through Patreon. And we'd like to do a big shout to our Griddle Entourage. Entourage. We love you guys so much. And if you'd like to support us and learn more information for, for that, again, that is also posted below. Right. And I'm not doing the Post Malone thing. Correct. By saying that, I'm saying it. Yep. <laughs> we love our Griddle Entourage. Let's do it Entourage. without doing it. The love and support that you guys give us. Thank you so much for that. Also, we do have a link to our merchandise store, which is in the description below. And our merchandise is brought to you through Digital Promotions. Who works closely with Crossroads Missions? We are so honored to get to work with both of these companies. Crossroads Missions does amazing service work, and a portion of all the purchases made through the Wall Twins merch store goes to benefit Crossroads Missions and the amazing work that they do. Exactly right. Brett, this was amazing. Matt, we can't thank you enough. Two Wheels, New York City, we absolutely love you. This is this is an honor. It is. And we will have this very as a badge of yep. honor. Yep. Thank you so much. These sliders were stellar. This was exactly what I hoped it would be. Complete and I called banger. it a banger beforehand. It, it is, is a banger. Absolutely. You gotta try this. If you do do this, go ahead and let us know how it is. I would say one thing I would change. I love those little sausage patties. I love the maple ones. I think the maple oh, sausage patties. Oh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, that, that, that maple that. sausage is amazing. Right, aside from coming to make these bangers and aside from showing the love to our brother in New York City, thank you so much. Yes. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.